We've talked a little bit about um, when there is an interplay between a social security disability claim or when one is receiving benefits and a worker's comp claim if one has or is or is going to receive benefits, whether it's temporary wages or a settlement of a lump sum amount that represents future and or past months of worker's comp. So the other videos do talk about the offset, the 80% rule, et cetera. Um, one thing to know is it affects when you're on disability, social security disability, potentially. Not, not everybody gets affected, um, but it doesn't last forever. So that is another reason to not let that diminution in benefits, the combined benefits between the two, prevent you from necessarily filing for one or the other. Um, for instance, if you neglected to file for social security disability because you were a bit offended about the offset that you think you're gonna have. Uh, we did talk, I think in another video about the damage you're doing to your retirement benefit by doing that. Um, and the retirement benefit could be a long ways away, but you're shrinking it. Um, but also, uh, you know, when they were thinking about, well, I'm really not gonna take home any more than if I just filed for a worker's comp or one or the other, so why should I file for both? And why should I file for disability and go through that whole rigmarole? Um, that's a big reason why the diminution in your retirement that you'll be living on long after your workers' comp is gone. Um, but another important thing to know is that the offset, if there is one, and you always wanna know, you gotta find out if there is one first, um, when in doubt, or just don't spend both in the meantime. Um, it ends by 62 or 65. So it, it ends um, and then you would be popped back up and receiving um, whatever amount was being offset. So you're either going to have uh, your disability back for, you know, at 62, which you continue to get it until you're 67 um, in full or at 65. Um, and I think it's, well, I'm not even going to go into when it's what wh which one is when because I don't get into the workers' comp aspect. But um, the SSD offset, if you have it against the SSD, uh, will end, and it's not going to apply at all when you're collecting retirement. Okay, so don't let that hinder you from making the smarter choice of filing for disability um, based on any kind of fear of offset. Offset is unfortunate, but. It's not the end of the world and it's better to have applied and received than not to have applied. All right. Just make sure you're aware of your offset and you don't spend money that you're going to have to give back. It's a whole can of worms I know. Anyway, we'll have other videos on those short and sweet because I don't want to get too much in the weeds on them. I don't do the workers comp aspect. Can you see that sun on my face? Um, but uh, we'll, we'll touch base on things when they pop up. All right. You know, as they do, they pop up day to day here and I just kind of shoot them out. Uh, it's a good reminder to me too. All right, talk to you later, bye.